Hello everyone, this is Tom Morley from FOSS 365 with another video tutorial. This one will be on Natron and the GMIC plugin. Now the GMIC plugin doesn't come with Natron by default, so we need to download and install it. So let's open a browser, type in Natron and GMIC, and we need to go to the GitHub page to download it. It brings us to the main download page and we have different flavors, Windows, Linux, and Darwin. I think I'm going to download the Linux 64 version for my system. Click OK. And if I scroll down to the install section for Linux, it tells me that I need to put the OFX plugin at this location or I can also install it in the plugins OFX Natron location, which I'm probably going to install it in that location so everything is in one place. Now, I also want to take a look at the issues here. It looks like GMIC also needs to download some presets on some effects. So unless I have a home directory dot config slash GMIC folder, um, I'm going to have some issues with some of the plugins that I use. So I'll have to make sure that I do this part as well. All right. So I've downloaded the file. Let's open a file manager. Let's go to the download section. And there's my plugin. So let's right click and extract that. So we don't need it zipped up. I'm going to delete that. And let's open a, another file manager. And let's go to my home directory. All right. And I installed Natron in my apps folder. So I'll go to my apps folder and into Natron. Now I, it's a plugin. So I'm going to go into plugin, OFX, and Natron. So there's that path that they were talking to on the website page. Okay. And you can see I have other OFX plugins here already. So all I need to do is drag this GMIC plugin and drop it into that folder there. So now I also need to create that. Let's go back to it. I need to create this folder location that they're talking about right here. A couple of different ways I could do this in a terminal. Uh, window and, and do the make directory. But really all I need to do is create a gmic folder in this dot config location. So I can do that just by using my file manager. If I go to my home directory, you see I don't see anything that's got a dot before it because those are all hidden files. But if I go up to view and say view hidden files, you'll see that it shows me all of the hidden locations. So let's go into dot config and we need to create a new folder in here. Create a new folder and it's just going to be GMIC. And you see it created that folder. So I should be good to go. So we can close both these and when I open Natron I should see the GMIC plugin. Okay, it opened up here and you can see that I do in fact have the GMIC plugin right here with all of the effects and we could probably spend hours on all the effects that are in here. But um, let's take a look at a few of them that impressed me. I thought were pretty cool. So we need some video footage. So let's open up a browser window and let's type in here wedding video and we want it to be CC0 so that I don't have any copyright issues and we'll click on the first link and uh, we'll go to this website here type in wedding I'm looking for good skin tone and um, this video has a nice shot from here to here on some nice skin tone so that's what I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab this file. So it's free download. I'll click on free download and when I did of course my browser just wants to play it. Uh, actually, I'm going to close that and I'm going to right click here and save the link as the mp4 file and I'm going to call it wedding mp4 
and we're done with that so we'll minimize it we'll grab this natron window and we'll bring it over here to the corner and it should snap if i get it right there we go and actually snap that over here okay and let's go to my download folder and there's my wedding footage so i'm going to drag and drop that over here now i'm done with this i'm going to close that file manager and make this window full screen again so i can see it i'm going to expand that a bit and move these up so that we can see what we're doing and like i said i'm only going to be using a portion of the video so i'm going to go over here to the right to the project settings and i know i want to use from frame 96 to frame 142 so i'm going to put in 96 here which will be get me to the beginning part of the skin tone and i'm going to go to 142 so 96 to 142 and i'm going to click play here okay so there we have it some nice skin tone some light bouncing off from it from the window a nice turn overall a real nice shot so one of the cool things that I like about Natron is its ability to give me different looks using the look transform. Let's look at what comes with Natron. So let's bring up the look transform. Uh, click on it. And let's hook it into our pipeline here. We'll put the source into the actual video and the number one pipe into our look transform. Now for the people that don't know what this look transform does, it gives us the ability to, with one button click, change the look of our video to a specific format, such as like maybe we want it to be Kodak Ektachrome 400. And when you let go, you see it changes the look and kind of tone of your movie. Or your video file and this is pretty cool just click and bang you have whatever that type of format looks like fujifilm 400 bam you've got it you know so i really think that this is cool and i always thought that would be nice if they had the ability in natron to have that same look up with black and white video footage you know if there was a lookup transform for black and white and there's not one natively in natron but the gmic plugin check it out has that look transform type node in it so let's delete this color look transform highlight our mp4 footage and if i click in the gmic plugin and i go down to film emulation there's actually right there a gmic black and white films so if i click on that it drops it in there and right now i have no presets right so it's showing me the color but check this out just like the color look transform now i can pick a black and white t max 3200 and bam look at that i get the look and feel of that old time film you know polaroid 667 bam there you go I mean, now I have the ability to get a quick look of some of the older style black and white films. I mean, that's pretty cool to just be able to plug in that node and get that behavior. Now, if you're using this black and white films node and you get an error, you're getting that error because you never created that gmic folder that they told you to create on the install page okay so make sure you're paying attention to what it tells you on that install page okay because you'll get an error with the black and white films node if you haven't created that folder okay so this is pretty cool i like that another thing that was missing um at least i couldn't find any was a really nice skin tone smoother it was kind of tough for me to find one that was free so if anybody else knows of any free plugins for skin tone you let me know okay because uh i'd be interested in, in picking it up but gmic has a skin tone 
node that helps you out and puts a, a real nice smoothness to skin tones. So let's highlight our footage again and we'll type in skin here. And you'll see that the only thing that's popping up is the GMIC nodes, right? So I can click on the smooth skin right here and look at the difference. I mean, I'm going to press D here to turn it off and look at the skin. That's off and that's on. And you're not going to get that same effect with a, with a glow node, not without a lot of work. And this is just automatic. And you have all of these different presets that you can change to kind of tailor it to your needs. It's great. I mean, it puts on a nice smoothness to the skin without making it look plastic. So this is, this is pretty awesome. And it renders pretty fast. So I'm going to let this finish here so that we can get a, an idea of, I guess, what it looks like. So that's pretty cool. I mean, to have the smooth skin and the ability to change the look and feel of some different black and white films, that alone to me is like killer. That's pretty awesome. That's just a couple of the things that you can do with it. Now, you can go crazy with some of these filters. Highlight the read note again so it connects with it. You've got different arrays here, so you can do a mirrored array and click that in there and change the iterations um, on how many times it, it's going to split and mirror. And again, this, this renders pretty fast too. So it's, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty awesome. You can go nuts with some of the effects in here. So let's delete that and take a look at another one. Let's take a look at some of the things in the artistic section, right? So you go to artistic brushify and you put that in there. Now this takes a little while. So if it um, takes too long, I'll speed up the video. But that to me looks more like a painting, especially if you change the ellipse to maybe a diamond format, which takes even longer to render. Then it looks more like um, an acrylic type painting to me than the the other style does and then you can even make it look more like canvas painting by going into the pattern section and clicking on canvas texture let's bring that input pipe over uh, make sure this is highlighted and press one this will take a little while to render out, but now you'll get that brushify type look along with a canvas texture look. So I'm not so sure this would be great for video because it does take so long to render, but you could use it for creating a still image and then maybe panning around on that still image or um, zooming in and out on the image. So this to me gives me a much closer representation of a painting and you can tone down the texture a bit so that it's a little bit darker because to me this is just too light so you change it the amplitude a little bit so that it isn't showing up quite so much get it down around maybe 12 and change the fiber up a little bit maybe to around seven or eight and that will give you a better representation of the canvas. You can use a combination of these to get a really really cool looking effects for sure. What if you wanted to make this not look black and white but more like an old style photo? Well guess what it has. If we type in sepia here There's a GMIC plugin for that. Look at that. I mean, that looks great. If you're making a Western, you want some quick sepia to add in there, right? There you go. And it looks awesome. So the only thing that you'd have to add as well as the sepia, you know, is a little bit of a vignette effect, right? GMIC has a vignette node as well. Allows you to change the strength on the corners and 
the different size of the minimum and maximum. So there it is with it, and that's without. You know, just subtle little touches to give you that look and feel. So check that out. That's pretty cool. I just there's so many things you can do with the GMIC plugin. The combination of the GMIC plugin along with the Shader Toy plugin. I mean, really, it's the world is your oyster. And if you learn something, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe because I'm going to be using these two nodes to create a whole bunch of different special effects using Natron. I'll see you in the next one.